Next up. There are several ways to conduct a development flight test. On Airbus airplanes, there are usually five to six crew members on board, two test pilots, a test flight engineer, and two or three flight test engineers. Each flight test engineer, or FTE, is a specialist in a domain such as flight controls, the engine, etc. They coordinate the development tests in their domain with the design office and then the certification activities. In flight, one of the FTEs leads the tests. The test pilots, of course, perform the required maneuvers and, in addition, they give a judgment on handling when necessary. The test flight engineer, also called TFE, sits on the jump seat between the pilots. The TFE helps them during tricky maneuvers and monitors all systems. A TFE is in charge of a given airplane. On ground, the TFE lists all the anomalies and limitations for this particular plane. Before each flight, the aircraft is prepared according to the FTE's requests. Weight, center of gravity position, type of computers and so on. The TFE coordinates the preparation with the team of mechanics. For each flight, a flight program called Test Order is prepared by the FTE leading the tests. It is discussed during a briefing before the flight. The conditions and techniques for all maneuvers are reviewed and possibly amended. Safety issues are obviously considered. Finally, the list of deviations and limitations is reviewed. When in flight, the FTEs monitor all the parameters relevant to the test. For almost all tests, they have a tool allowing them to modify parameters in a computer. As an example, if it estimates that the stall protection is activated too close to the stall, they may increase the margin. A progressive modification of the various parameters of the computer during a given flight may allow convergence toward a satisfactory tuning for this configuration. For measurements and certification, the FTEs validate the results of the tests. Thanks to the flight test installation, they may detect anomalies on the various systems. Test pilots work differently from airline pilots. For a long test flight, they carry out the maneuvers in turn as it is necessary to keep a high degree of concentration to precisely maintain the flight parameters. For some tests, the two pilots perform different actions. For example, one maintains pitch attitude and the other bank angle and speed. In any case, one pilot is in charge of flight safety, monitoring the key parameters and looking outside. When a judgment is required on handling, the pilot flying gives his or her opinion. But in case of doubt, the other pilot can also make an evaluation by repeating the same maneuver. Depending on the test, the TFE may participate in the maneuver, for example by very precisely setting the required thrust. The TFE may have specific tasks, such as balancing the fuel between tanks when many asymmetrical maneuvers are performed. He or she also notes the various anomalies which may appear in flight, even if minor and not relevant to the test. It is very important that crew members work as a team. In difficult tests, they all have a specific task and they rely on their colleagues for safety and for the proper execution of the maneuver. Almost all the development flights are followed from the telemetry room by a team of engineers from the design office. These specialists can answer questions from the FTEs. 
They can also warn the crew members if they detect an anomaly not seen on board. Before the execution of a development flight, one or several simulator sessions with test crew members are sometimes performed. It could be to assess a new computer. The target may also be to validate the test techniques and the procedures for abnormal situations. After the test flight, there is a debriefing. For a measurement flight, it is a first assessment by the FTEs, knowing that there will be further precise data analysis. Pilots give their opinion on handling. This debriefing is very important, as it is an opportunity for exchanges between the test team and the design office. When something is not satisfactory, possible solutions are discussed. It may also be decided to proceed to further evaluations in different configurations, in order to have a better understanding of a problem. The European regulations define two levels of test flights for development. Level 1 corresponds to the most difficult tests or flights with specific risks, such as opening of the flight envelope. Level 2 corresponds to simpler test flights. Production flights are not included in these categories. The captain and the lead FTE must have an approved qualification corresponding to the level of the test flight. Additional qualifications for the co-pilot and the other engineers are usually required by internal rules set by the manufacturer, depending on risks and difficulties. There are several ways to get level 1 or 2 qualifications. Schools in France, the United Kingdom, United States and Canada deliver a level 1 qualification after a one-year course. There are other schools which deliver a level 2 qualification, such as the Airbus Flight Test School. A bridge to get a level 1 approval exists after complementary training shared between Airbus and one of the other schools.